So if you are online searching for the best electric unicycle 2020, we are going to talk about that on this video and in the next episode. And when I say we, I say we. It is Adam from the wrong way. Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Flex. What's going on everybody, it's EVX here. Hey there, Duff here. Hello guys, this is Bonheur sur scène. And Robert Ace. And yeah, like you could see, some of these faces you have already seen before, we are all different, we have different necessities, different approach for the electric unicycles. In the second episode, besides telling you what is my favorite electric unicycle of 2020, also I'm going to talk a little bit more about what I think is the future of the best brands of electric unicycles. And we which brands we risk to lose them. But let's jump to their videos to see what is their favorite electric unicycle for 2020. What's going on everybody? It's EVX here. I am in upstate New York on a weekend getaway here. But I wanted to make sure to find the time to do my buddy Mad Pack a good favor and I let you guys know what my favorite electric unicycle is for 2020. And as you probably guessed it, it's the Veteran Sherman. So my favorite unicycle for 2020 is the Veteran Sherman. You can see down below I am on this thing. It is my baby. I'm loving every minute of this. So congratulations Mad Pack on the 5,000 subscribers, and here's the 10,000. As I always say, keep riding, never stop. Duff here, and I'm sitting with what I think is the 2020 EUC of the year, the Inmotion V11. Although I don't think it is the fastest wheel, the most powerful wheel, even necessarily not the best suspension on a wheel, when you add all aspects and all feature sets of EUCs together. The V11 is the best wheel for me. The suspension is comfortable, it's simple, it appears to be pretty reliable. You know, back that up with a powerful motor, great design, typical in motion build quality. It's the wheel of the year for me. Followed closely by the veteran Sherman, the V11 is my choice. See you later. Hello guys, this is Bonheur sur Seine. It means a happiness on La Seine. Well, La Seine is the river going through Paris. Paris is where I live. Paris is where I ride. So Matt Pack, you asked me what would be the best wheel for me in 2020. And let's say I could not give you one and only one. But let me tell you more about it. Before to start, I think I need to give you a little bit of context. In France, the law does not allow us to have wheels that can go above 25 km per hour. So historically in France, there are rules and no one's respect them. Okay, but you can easily understand that speed is not the main priority in our country. We have trips and daily commutes that are more the way for us. And one more thing before to start, you know, 2020 is not over and 2020 in the real world is far from being over. We're all waiting for the last Godway be God. I don't know how to call it now. That say, my best wheel for 2020 would be the Sherman. But not for the speed, more for the range and the shape and the comfort of it. Let's be clear, just between you and me, if I had to choose only one, it certainly won't be the Sherman. But man, the long range, the opportunity to customize it the way you want, adding accessories and custom input on the steel bars. The feel to have a very powerful wheel, a very strong wheel that won't let you down. As strong as it is, having a nice shaped body where even I, who is only 5.6 foot high, I'm not too small to enjoy the ride. And even I, who does not ride at extreme speed, can enjoy the perf and the comfort of the wheel, man. Making more than 200 kilometers in one charge. If that's not the future, what is? But there is one but. Yes, it clearly lack an IP rating for me to be the best of all things. Let me end on the German chapter saying that. Above all, we were all waiting in 2020 on the suspension wheels. And out of nowhere, veteran came with their chairman and everybody loved it unanimously. And that surprise is part of the reason why I like it so much. Being able to release a wheel with no suspension in 2020 and being the best at it was amazing for me. That said, I would have been very happy to answer your question, Matt Pack, after testing the EMCM5 V2, because actually, this is the wheel I use every single day. The EMCM5 is my favorite daily commute. Only 16 kilograms, a battery of 84 volts, 1500 watt motor. This is the little beast that could easily be the one and only for me. Now, before going, I have to do a special mention to the V11, which brings us suspension without taking anything 
everything away from us. And even if I'm not sure right now, suspension is everything, I like the way, the message that it sends us, that company are going forward. Thank you, MatPat, for making us Wheeltuber come together because what are we if not a beautiful family? We are back. Back to you, man. I want to thank my bro Marco Domingos for inviting me. This year has been very difficult to everyone worldwide, but at least in the world of electric unicycle, it has been one of the best years with innovation, as amazing as suspension system. At the same time, new brands with alternative wheels that challenge the traditional brands, such as the case of Veteran with his flagship Sherman, with some hand come to call the go-to-way killer with a power and speed never seen before. We love to see more and more new alternatives, more competition, more innovation, and of course, more performance. Which wheel will Robert Ace choose? It could be a suspension wheel like Kingston S18 or Emotion V11. But wheels seem fantastic to me. And, and I have had the opportunity to test both and have an idea what this wheel can do on difficult terrain. Their performance it is brilliant, being able to reach speeds never seen before on difficult terrains, thanks to the suspension. On the other hand, it has less battery than we are not used to. That is why I have not chosen the S18 as wheel option to buy for me in the 2020. The Emotion V11 I have had a bittersweet taste testing the wheel because when I was enjoying the most of their off road, it cut off twice in a row, made me lose confidence quickly. Fortunately, I did not have any damage. I will not consider this fact as something relevant since it was a pre production unit. On the other hand, speaking of performance, as always, Godway shows his new releases with wheels as AX and the new monster resist losing the throne of the wheel with the best performance. Veteran bursts in with his new Sherman turning the market upside down with a total sales success with superb qualities such as his power, perfect balance, brutal range and breaking the rules with 80 km per hour reached in electric unicycle. This year 2020 I have decided a Godway RS High Torque Edition. I believe in terms of performance in relation to his weight, battery, capacity and the improvement made on the MSP make my favorite wheel for 2020. It has for me all what I need. Moderate weight, a lot of power, great battery, more durability thanks to the improvement with respect to the MSP and the guarantee of being the most reliable wheel on the market. Thanks Marco for your invitation and thanks all you guys. See you on the road. So what is your thoughts about these videos that I just showed to you guys? Do you agree? Do you think that these are the best wheels that you have in 2020? Are you thinking to purchase them? I would love to know a little bit more on the comments below. But my name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.